Every single sound you're about to hear was created on the Moog Subsequent 37. <laughs> I think this thing is my new best friend. Every sound that you heard was created on this Moog Subsequent 37. I've been on the verge of falling down the analog synthesizer rabbit hole for a long time, but there has been one single thing that has kept me from doing it. Well, I, I guess two things. The first thing is that I'm not a real keys player. I can kind of get around it, but th that's not my instrument. My instrument is guitar. And so it's a decent amount of money to throw into something if I'm, if I'm not really, really playing it. And the second thing is while I use synthesizer, Synthesizers, usually virtual instruments, on every single song I've worked on in, in, I don't know, the last decade, there's one particular thing that I'm really picky about, and that is locking the arpeggiator to the tempo in Pro Tools. I'm constantly using this synthesizer arpeggiator, the da -da 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 -da. I'm constantly using that in all my productions, but if it's not perfectly locked to the grid in Pro Tools, it doesn't work for my particular goals. Now, I know that there's a way to do it with control voltage on pretty much every analog synthesizer, but I'm not a real keys guy and I don't know how to do that, and there's basically no info about this anywhere online. So I was over at my buddy Gabe's house, who's a session player here in town, and he had one of these, and I was telling him, man, I really, I really want an analog synthesizer but I just I need this one problem solved and he was like well this does that you you can do that with this and I'm like how did I not know that how am I so late to this party so I'm gonna run you through some of my favorite things about this because this is gonna be a mainstay and gonna be used on every single song that I work on moving forward now the first thing that I love about this is that I can lock that arpeggiator to the grid in Pro Tools very easily. All I gotta do is plug it into the computer via USB, turn on the MIDI beat clock in Pro Tools to, to see the Moog, and then it automatically locks to the grid. But even better than that, there's a controller, a software controller, that you get with this when you pick one of these up, and it gives you a lot more in-depth control over all the parameters, but for my specific use cases, a lot more specific control over the arpeggiator, and that is, that's perfect to me because it it's as tweakable as any virtual instrument I've ever used, but it's a hardware unit. And that's one of the things that I always had a problem. There's two things that I always had a problem with virtual instrument synthesizers. One, they're, they're too complicated and they're too tweakable. I'm being shown too many things all the time and there's too many options and I just need to get a sound fast. And the presets on all of them suck on everything sucks. So I just, I wanna be shown just the, the most basic thing so I can get to a sound I like quickly. 
And this does that. On the hardware, it is the exact perfect amount of controls where I can tweak. It's very tweakable, and I can get to a sound that I love really, really quickly. And then if I'd like to tweak it further, not only can I do it on the hardware itself, but I can also tweak it further via the software. So since I'm not a real keys player, the next thing that I love about this is that I can be working on a song, turn this on, very quickly find a sound that I like, and then record the MIDI into Pro Tools. And once I've recorded the MIDI into Pro Tools, I can tweak my performance if I would like. And then it will play via MIDI and I capture the analog output and record it like a real instrument, except it's it's playing better than I can because I'm not a real keys player. I'm, I'm happy to admit that. So this like, this solves all of my problems where the arpeggiator can get locked to Pro Tools. It's extremely tweakable, but not overwhelmingly. So I can get to great sounds, anything I want very quickly. I can tweak those performances via MIDI in, in Pro Tools. I can tweak the controls of this further if I want to with the software that's included, but it still has that incredible analog, truly analog synthesizer sound that personally I've always thought was better than virtual instruments. Maybe better is not the right way to put it, but it, it does a thing that the virtual instruments just don't do. So for some technical details, this is a two oscillator analog synthesizer. Uh, it does have a duo mode, so you can play two notes at once if you want to. In the mixer, you've got two oscillators with a, an additional sub bass uh, and some noise control. Um, the filter is obviously incredible. All your envelope controls are great. Your mods are really good. The glide control is super tweakable and sounds great. It's super easy to save user presets. The arpeggiator is super easy to use. I'm absolutely in love with this thing. If you want to check more out about this, there's a link in the description below where you can go check it out. That link goes to Sweetwater. Sweetwater is sponsoring this video along with all of these videos. So thank you very much to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. You can check out all the gear that I use, not just this, with the links in the description below. And if you use any of those links to buy anything you ever need, it really helps the channel out and I appreciate it very much. Now that piece of music that I worked on, it took me about two hours to compose and record all of that. It was super easy easy to create all of those sounds. And so the speed at which I can work with real knobs is super important to me. It's one of the reasons why I have so much hardware for mixing. It's partially about the sound quality. I like what hardware sounds like, but it's partially about the speed and the inspiration that I can work with when there's real knobs in front of me. I'm also going to do a full breakdown of how I mixed that piece of music on my Patreon. There's a link to my Patreon down below if you guys want in-depth mix tutorials, Q&As, music business advice. Consider joining me on my Patreon. If you have any questions about this synthesizer, feel free to drop it in the comments below. And while I'm by no means an expert on this stuff, I really have gotten to wrap my head around this over the past couple days. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the piece of music. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey!